Doug Thompson, we're here in the shop today, and uh, we're gonna shoot a quick video of making a kind of a hoop for a motorcycle for my friend Eric. So what I've done is I've, I've done a little test piece, and um, kind of one of the, the, the key things we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to tack in a block so that when we do the bending process, the pipe won't slip through the die. So I took my little Kirby uh, tape measure, and measure to about 17 to the center line, multiplied by two, so we get 34 inches. So I've cut a piece of half inch pipe at 34 inches. This is gonna get sandblasted and painted, and um, so I'm not really worried about the rust too much. So I've marked a center line, now I'm gonna go over to the bender, and I'm gonna figure out where we're gonna locate this essentially stop block that will weld to the tube or to the pipe, and then uh, we'll cut it off later. So let's go over and do that. So I've set up the, the Haasfeld with a standard square block on the main frame, and then we've got this little shaped roller die here that we'll go ahead and use to bend this pipe. The first thing I've got to do is I've got to figure out, okay, where am I going to locate the, the welding block, we'll say, that we're going to leave on it for a little bit. So what I've done is I've, I've made a mark at 8 inches, which is what we want for our straight. I'm going to insert this into the hospital and I'm just going to look straight down on the hospital and I've got my mark here and I'm going to say okay that's close enough for the tangent point. We'll put our stop block here. I'll weld it up and then afterwards we'll break it off and on this project and I think it's important on prototyping and one-off things especially when you're doing bending give yourself a little bit extra because you can always trim back and that's what we're going to do. We're going to make the bend We'll fit it to the bike, and then we'll make our trim cuts. We're going to have plenty of material left over. Just want to clean that off a little bit. I'm going to put the front end to the mark, and I'm just going to weld that off. So we've got our stop block welded off. I just want to emphasize the importance of this welded block that's going to keep the material from advancing forward. If you have the material advance or slip with tubing, you're probably going to get a kink right away. So it's really important that you lock this in and then do the bending so that it doesn't slip forward. I'm just going to gently pull on a nice steady pull and I'm going to go right around. Keep it going. Keep going. All the way around. There we go, a little bit more. I think what I did was I put a stop lock on here. That's a pretty nice bend. I don't think we had. I don't think we had any deformation in the circularity of the of the pipe. So I'm pretty happy with that. So that's a pretty good fit. 